Can you dog? Can you dog? Oh, Jack Russell, isn't it? That's a big Jack Russell. <laughs> Did you want to be on film? I've got you on video. Hey, well, hey. <laughs> so how's everybody? They're all going good? Yeah. Just want to have a service? Hey. Want to have a service? Over there, yeah? The chair? We're in the same place as before? Or? Same place. Same place in the shade there. Okay. What do you reckon, doggy? You can come too. <laughs> no worries. Alright, we're well, right over there, eh? I'll make it a bit closer, eh? Are we going to be in the shade, you reckon? I'll bring it a bit closer, eh? <laughs> I 
they go. I'll come and see. Come and see. They're busy, aren't they? Can you hold that for a minute, Walt? No, you can just hold that. You can point that around. You can film people. You can see on the picture. Here. Yeah, I've got um, Pastor Kevin, he's coming out. Hey. Pastor Kevin, he's going to come out this morning. We've got a guest, guest speaker. It's still a little bit dark in there, but that's alright, it should be alright. Bring the camera down. Yeah. I think so. Sort of, it, it, it'll get us in the picture then. Yeah, I can see, yeah, but just. Yeah. You just might have to stand in the light when you want to get in the picture. So.
summer and winter, springtime and harvest, sun, moon, and stars in their courses alive. Join with all nature in manifold witness of thy great faithfulness, mercy, and love. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. By morning, in mercies I see all I have needed, thy hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord. I'm Jesus was actually prophesying about us in Australia. He was actually saying that people from the east, so they'd be people from China, so they would come into the kingdom of heaven. And then people from the west, which is sort of maybe America or something. America, from the west, from the south, we're in the south, south land, which is us, the south land. They would come from the 
that how you gotta look up in Psalm 5 to go and look up. And the thing that happens is you look down but the Lord wants us to look up and look to him and know that our loved ones are That's Coffee the chicken. Oh, he's shy, he's taken off. Hello, Coffee. Hold her on this still. Yeah, still on there. Going good. Okay. We're having a, a good meeting here. So I've been reading from Psalm 5, Psalm 5 and, and Luke, Luke chapter 13. So if anybody asks you, what, what was he talking about? <laughs> and it talks about north, south, east, west. So Jesus actually prophesied that people would come to the kingdom of heaven from the north, from the east, the west, the north, and the south. That was, that was talking about us, the great south land, which is, um, great. Pick another song. Wanna... So, basically there's those two scriptures that I want to share, and maybe somebody wants to read them. Um, Seas will roar. See, 
things would get a bit shaky and ups, unstable. And I mean, a mountain going in, into the sea would be a pretty. That would be a pretty. <laughs> that would be. Oh my goodness. But even if that happened, even if you're witnessing that, and the, and the mountain is going into the sea, that song it declares that I'll be okay, you know. And that just that simple trust in the Lord. So when you put your trust in the Lord, it it's, it, it it verifies everything, it stabilizes everything, it makes you it gives you peace, and it also gives you joy when you trust the Lord. And that's the secret to having joy. It's just simply trusting the Lord and saying, Look, He's looked after me in the past. He's looked after me in the past. And I thank you, Lord, that you look after me in the present. And so that simple trust is the is the thing that actually gives us that joy and gives us that peace and gives us that that power to, to walk to walk the righteous the righteous path and trust in the Lord, you know. So that the devil can't afflict us because we know that we trust in the Lord. And we know that the God's mercies are new every morning, don't we, Walt? <laughs> yeah, we know that God's mercies are new every morning. And, um, yeah, I'm so glad that I came here, even just you, Walt, just to minister to you, you know, tell Walter about the Lord, I love him. And then we had a friend come over and he got healed. I've got a couple of suey mins here if you want to.
bread cart. Oh, he's coming, is he? Here's, um, here's Kevin. I might come over. Yeah, it didn't look like you were coming, so...
Yeah. Yeah, we'll shoot that yeah. one. Oh, where? Yeah, that's right in the thing. So I move this. Come forward a bit, you reckon? Well, I'll take it. Hang on. I'll just, I'll just hold this. I'll just put this on there. what he says is in two verses where Jesus said come unto me all ye that labour and are heavy laden and I will give you rest I will give you rest that's what Jesus said here take my yoke upon you and learn of me for I am meek and lowly in heart and ye shall find rest unto your soul our souls is always trouble no matter who we are the devil will try and trouble us you give us trouble, but that's why we've got to come to Jesus all the time. Every time. Even the best of us, you know. Ministers, we've got to come to Jesus every day. Even right through the day. Yesterday I went out to our old mission church. Old mission where I grew up there. I went out there and there was a big mess there. So I went out and picked up all the old chairs and old tins and bits of things. And I moved it right away from the church. Put people in there and I just said, well, Lord, I'm going to... Clean this place up. I'll clean it up for you, yeah. And I was there till that sun went down. And Ashley Simpson, he was at the other church, the one in town. He was cleaning that one. He really didn't know. We were both coming to our tea together last night. He come around home there, yeah. When he come around home there, we had a, we had a good bit of spuds, yeah. All up in spuds. But we shared our experiences of looking after the Lord's house. See, it's good in these times now to uh, to cling close to the Lord, to, to come to Him, because our time times are short. Times are very short. Jesus wants us to stay close to Him, very close. Always have a Bible next to you. Take a Bible around where you go. You know, and always think about the Lord and do the Lord's thing. People of the Lord, hang around the people of the Lord, you know, and, and go out and tell people too as well. Tell them when the Lord fill you up, and yeah, you can go out to all these mob here. Tell them about Jesus too. And uh, some of the prophecies, what Jesus said, <coughs> there's one prophecy in the early part of Matthew chapter 7. There's a lot of warnings in there. And in the warning, what Jesus said, that
Did some things. Forty-seven, Matthew seven, verse twenty-one. Not every one saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done wonderful works? Then I will profess unto them, Never do ye depart from me, ye that do work, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came. And the wind blew and beat upon that house, and it fell out. It, it, it fell not, for it was built upon a rock. Every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them is not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. Rain descended, and the floods came, and the wind blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it. So, with Jesus, Jesus was saying that we need to be doing God's will. Yes, when we ask something, yeah. you know, look, I'm coming here today. You know. Lord, it's your will that I come here. You know? yeah. So, we come here. We come here according and we do God's will. And doing God's will is, is, is doing the things doing the things that please him. And if you're in the centre of God's will, God will work. Work with the people. See some people coming here now, this is what they say. And that's one prophecy what Jesus said. Many will come in my name. There are lots of people that can come in Jesus' name, but they need to be doing God's will. And we say that by their fruits we shall know them. He will know them by their fruits if they're not doing God's will. Their false teachers know them by their fruits. Fruits are goodness, you know, faithfulness, meekness. These are the things what God does. God gives us these blessings there. But brother here, his, his fruits is that he's coming here to help him. He's spending his time to come here, not come here today to help him. Which is me. God sent him here to God's will. So we come here to do God's will. We're like a house on a rock. We don't let nothing stop us from doing God's work. Then nothing will stop him from coming out here. He'll keep coming out here. He, he told me before that he keeps coming out here. I said, oh, I got up this morning. I said, Lord, well, where do you want me to go this morning? He said, I want you to come here. Instead of waiting for church tonight, you come here in the morning, then you can come back in the night. So we're doing God's will. And another prophecy too. There are three prophecies what Jesus said. He spoke about the prophecy. Of the things that's going to happen. This is it here. But the end... Uh, then certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we will see a sign from thee. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it but the sign of 
the prophet Jonas. Whereas Jonas was in, was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonas and behold the greater than Jonas it is. The queen of sheep, the queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it for she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon and behold the greater than Solomon is here. That's the prophecy of what's going to happen on Judgment Day. Because on Judgment Day, Jesus said that generation where he was walking around through Galilee and all that, all those places, this is where he's speaking in this place in Israel, he said that the people of Nineveh are going to rise up against you people. And the Queen of the South travelled a long way to hear the wisdom of Solomon. The Lord said that she's going to rise up to that generation too. And that generation is going to rise up and they're going to say, oh, how come these people here? How come they, how come they uh, think? What? Did they listen to God's word? They're going to say. They're going to rise up and then they are going to condemn it. The Bible says that they're going to condemn that generation. They're going to rise up and condemn those that didn't hear the word of the gospel. See, a long time ago, when I first heard the gospel, that old school over there. See, there's an old school over there. I went to that school when I was a little boy there. In the early days, yeah, missionary days, yeah. I was in that school, that little one just there with the bricks would have fallen down there. I was there. I was there, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was there, yeah. I was a little boy there, I went to that school. So, we heard the gospel. We had a scripture class then. That's the first story I heard about Jesus died on the cross my well, first was at school there I was in year one day and that bloke told me they told that story that the people were singing out and crucify him, crucify him. Yeah. we end up getting the Easter egg out right never mind but that's where I first heard that message of the gospel that the minister came to me that minister with the puppet there you know you probably seen that one he talked with the puppet that one there came there he spread the gospel so we heard the gospel from a long time ago Missionaries went, came to us, and what if these mob here rise up against us? We don't know. But they're going to rise. We know that they are going to rise up against that generation that Jesus walked. But if they rise up against our generation, now they've got us pastors worried, and, and you know us Christians, we 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 got they got us worried because we don't want our people to be condemned, you know. God can bring them to encourage as much people as we can yeah, to come out for the Lord. Yeah. And that is a prophecy of the generation that Jesus said that the people of Nineveh are going to be the people of Nineveh. They repented. Jonah went there, he came out of the whale on the beach, spewed him out. When he went in, he got out and these people see him come out. They said, hey, who's this man here? He got out and they repented. If they are to the Lord, they respect the Lord, even animals. What you do with all the animals here? They chuck ashes on them, on the cattle. You read that part in the Bible? Look in the Bible. Is it? Did you ever know that? Every person in that village, that Mr. Dawson, he's a minister, you probably heard Mr. Dawson, missionary? He's the one that got lost at Tunnel a long time ago. He was in Norton, he spoke last week about Jonah and Nineveh. So these people are going to rise up in that generation with him. In that generation, I don't know about our generation. We have the gospel here going down. The gospel is the best, when we handle the gospel, when we handle God's word, it's like dishing out a good feed. Like a feed of steak, egg, bacon and eggs. It's like dishing out sweets. 
these people with the will of God in. And so the generation, what we are in now, we need to pray for them. Pray for our people here that that they God will have mercy upon them, like the people of Nineveh, that they might turn. And there's another prophecy too, that the last one found in twenty here. Let's leave this part here now. When the Son of Man come in his glory and all his holy angels with him then shall then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory and before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them from another and the shepherd that's what he's going to do is dividing his sheep from the goats. So Jesus will come in his glory with his angels. He's going to separate and come to this earth. All nations are going to be gathered. More people, American people, African people, Chinese people, white people, they're going to all be gathered. What Jesus is going to do, he's going to, he's going to split that into two groups. He's going to have the, the, on the right side, he's going to have his sheep. The left side, he's going to have the goats. So out of all that nations, Jesus is going to divide the nations. He's going to go and gather them together and say, look, he's going to divide them. He's going to say, look at us, we are sheep. Right here. Goat, the other side. Big separation. That's what he's going to do. All the nations, there might be all different sorts of people, but Jesus sees them as two lots sheep and goats. No matter what colour they are, they could be a white goat, red goat, black goat, green goat, you know, yellow goat, you know. That's what they are. You know, that's goat or sheep, white people, red people, yellow people. Black people, all sorts of people, brown people, from all nations, sheep. What Jesus is going to do is what he says what he's going to do. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. And shall the king say to them on his right hand, Come. Blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. That's what he's saying. He's saying, come. He's going to say to all them goats, he says, look, come with me. He's going to take them. Jesus said in John 14, in my 
said to the other mob, then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, or no, on, on his, no, the other one, another one, then shall he answer, they're going to say, Lord, where did we, where did we see you, you know, we said, by visiting the sick, in clothing those without clothes, one of these, least of these, my brethren, ye have done it to me. Done it to me. Done it by help to me. Good to them. Speaking of like sheep, you know. Sheep has got a very, very good nature, sheep, you know. Sheep is, you know, you, I remember the mission there, the sheep won't chase you, you know. But a goat, you, oh, he's got the horn there, he goes. This is what Jesus said about the goats. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed into everlasting fire. Born in the way there. Dead with the devil and his angels. Dead with the devil and his angels. Goats. The nature of a goat is very rough. Very rough. Sick and in prison, and you visit <coughs> me not. Then shall they answer. They also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee and hunger, or a thirst, or a stranger, naked or sick in prison, did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, so much as ye 
It is not until the least of these he did it not to me. He shall go away into everlasting punishment of the righteous and the eternal life. So the goats on the left side, they're the ones that don't want to hear God's word. The ones that fight against God. Goats are very rough, very rough for people. They've got no soft spot for God. They're very rough. And they're rough to Jesus. Jesus said that they would oppose him, they wouldn't help him, they wouldn't feed him. Come unto me, and I'll give you rest. You don't need to worry about all that, that thing about what the you know, Mongols don't do. Yeah. If we got Jesus, we've got everything. We don't have to worry about the Mongols, okay? The Mongols did nothing. Last week we done a big funeral there, Lord, a big one. They said, oh, there's going to be a big fight there. I said, there won't be no fight there because the Lord will look after that there. So, we went ahead with the people, prayed, asked the Lord to be with us, no fight, no disagreement, no argument, all for the Lord, yeah. Hello? Yeah. So that's the message, yeah. Okay. What he said to us. Yeah, we can come. But we, have you been watching the news today? No. You want, you look, in Israel, there's big bombs going into Israel now. The, the Arabs sending big bombs into Israel. Big ones. Hundreds of bombs are just firing on Israel right now. They started this morning. The war gun. Big war. Israel stopped. They bombed Gaza, but now the other bomb will bomb on Israel today, big bomb. But Israel, God gives them a the key to knock all the bombs out of the sky. You turn that TV on, they'll be full of what's happening in Israel. So we need to be ready when Jesus comes. We need to live by this. <coughs> Jesus said, Hello, Audrey, Audrey, is That's Audrey? Sinclair? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were Audrey. You can't Audrey, yeah. yeah. Uh, come and come listen to the word and fill, fill your, so your, 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 your soul up with the spirit of the word. Yeah. Um, Feed on the spirit of the word and then Jesus, I'll give you food. When Jesus comes back. Feed the physical last. Your spirit needs to be fed. We, we heard about the rapture, right? Eh? We, we, I remember a long time ago the mission. A lot of kids were there, we have Warburton kids, country kids, biggest mob of us. Pastor Jamison was speaking, yeah. Big lot come out for the Lord, the rapture. You know, there's more chance of the rapture happening now than way back. That's 50 years ago, a long time, 53, 54 years ago when we were kids in the mission there. That's a long time ago. Now we're more close, especially with those bombs coming on Israel. They're landing, they're hitting in Israel. I don't know whether they're killing people, but. I, I was coming on the road from Norton there this morning, I could hear it, that they we were waiting for them to fire the shots. They started this morning. I listened to the one o'clock news. No, nah, they haven't fired. They have fired a lot of rockets and the drones. So we had the time where the rapture can take place. It could happen, we don't know. Yeah. We don't know the day nor how. This will be if you see them up. They got gospel people like us too, yeah. Yes. They go to their, we go to our people. These, these are my cousins. Yeah. Like, I'm saying more cousins, more than more. Yeah. My, 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 my grandma, my mother was born in Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, my mom. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's the message. Yeah. Jesus wants us to come to him. Amen. And he does. That's the main thing. Is that when you come does. to him, you look after him. Yeah. He's got everything he need, we need. Yeah, closing prayer. I'll ask the follower here to close the prayer, Glenn. Yeah. He comes down my area, you know, with this bridge. I heard about this place, eh? Yeah.
say there I am in the midst and I just thank you Father that anybody that look we can look up today Lord look up to you and lift up our heads and know that things in life get us down Lord we might look down but Lord your word declares that we, we look up we've got to look up to you and, and know that you hear our prayer Lord I just pray for those that are sick today those that are hurting spiritually physically emotionally whatever's going on Lord in their lives Lord that you know and I just ask for a healing, Lord. And I thank you, Father, where your people gather, there's healing. And I thank you that you're healing right now in Jesus' name. And I thank you that in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, it says, Ask, and you shall receive. Knock, and the door will be open. We just thank you for that right now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hello, how, how are you? you? Going, right? <laughs> <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you yeah. too. Are you still at McDonald's? Yes, yeah, still at McDonald's. Oh, yeah, good. To see you. oh good. You come in and get food out, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so like um, we have a church called the Rock of Ages Church oh, yeah. with Pastor yeah. Wania. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, and yeah, um, we finished yeah. um, um, our church, so we we bought some food over. Yeah. My auntie comes every Sunday oh, to bring down yeah. some food. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I've got a church we've got to get back to night for our church back there. The North is there. Oh, Northland? Yeah, yeah, lots of people oh, there. Yeah. Wow. I know a lot of Mary people there too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah my um, pastor, he would know more about um, coming down that Northman way. Yeah, I, I helped one Mary yeah, pastor there. Yeah, Mary Chaplin was there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I went around his house, he wasn't there, so I rang him, he never answered, so I went looking for him at his shed, he was really on the motorway. So <laughs> ready to go. He said, follow me, ring, but I got here late, see. Oh, wow. Our, our one, we don't have a time for our. Yes, yes. People just come, they know when that sun goes around. Yeah. Wow. Okay, okay. Okay, meet you now. Yeah, good to see you again. Yeah, good yeah. to see you too. Got you on video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you I'll put have on YouTube? You, I do, yeah. Glenn Hodge, Kalgoorlie YouTube. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, look, I'll yeah. look it up. Yeah, look it up, yeah. yeah. My um, my husband had a YouTube one part there, but yeah, because we used to do a lot of travelling around the world, but we stopped after COVID. Oh, okay. And then we're just trying to get it back up and running, go back. But yeah. we'll see. See what God says. Yeah, like a travel channel, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was called the Toothless Traveller. Oh! Because <laughs> he's got the CT. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and the last one we went to was, uh, we were off to um, Vietnam. So what's your YouTube channel called? Uh, Toothless, Toothless Travellers. Travellers, yeah, yeah. look it up, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's my husband's one. His last one was in Bangkok, because we were supposed to go to Vietnam. But we didn't end up going... Covid hit us, so yeah. we just came Corona. home, and then we just didn't didn't carry it on. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but it, oh, it's so God, start God's plan, yeah, yeah. you know, God's plan. Yeah. See what God takes us. Yeah. But yeah, that's my auntie. Yeah, lovely. Mm. 
So he won't go over there. Mm. Yeah, so I'll put this one on YouTube too. Yeah. So you'll be able to see it, yeah. I was like thinking, <laughs> oh, I should take a, a photo of these people, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's God's blessing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're used to quite a few people. Yeah. 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 They've got different people that bring stuff out. Yes, yeah, times. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we come out on Sunday and we. Yeah, um, lovely. You know, like, yeah, it's lovely, yeah. Yeah. So just bring 